everybody. Welcome back to my channel for another video today. I am so excited about this one. I have been going into Dollar Trees for weeks now trying to find fall decor. And I know you guys have seen me find a few things here or there, but I haven't been able to find like everything out until today. I am so excited. I got so many good things to go with my sort of fall theme that I'm working on for the year. Um, which I just cannot wait to decorate for. And also, um, stay on the lookout for a video coming probably next week where I take you through all of the fall decor that I have, which is a lot, and kind of weed through it and sort of set aside some stuff that I'm gonna offer my sister before donating it. Because I have a lot and I need to get rid of a lot. I have several tubs. The fall decor a lot of it is just stuff that I've been keeping from year to year and I don't really plan on using anymore um, and I should have gotten it rid of it like two years ago or whatever but I didn't so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what my Dollar Tree had going on show you some of the stuff that I saw that I found interesting or really I really just sort of took you through the Dollar Tree and showed you all of the fall and Halloween stuff. So let's go ahead and get into that and then we will do the haul of what I picked up today. Right when you walked into my Dollar Tree, they had this end cap set up with all of these gorgeous wooden signs on it. I really like this black and white theme, the checkered theme that seems to be big this year along with those sunflowers. Um, but yeah, all of these signs were like solid wood, really high quality. Um, and the pumpkins, those ceramic pumpkins, you guys know I already picked those up on a different day. Love those. But these were my favorite thing on this end cap. These um, lettered pumpkins were just gorgeous and so high quality, but unfortunately they didn't have one in the letter that we needed. But I also saw these beads, or I'm sorry, berries, and thought that they would be good to add to a wreath or something like that as well as pretty much this whole section here. I love that they have so many options, like if you wanted to do a wreath or a garland or like a basket with a bunch of different things in it, you could buy a bunch of that corn there and sit it, like gather it and put it in a basket on your porch or something similar like that. They had so many options um, for adding to wreaths. These little pumpkins here actually had a clip on the back of them, which I thought was really helpful, um, again, to add to a wreath or a garland. And then these round um, garlands, the wooden ones here, would be great for putting a candle in the center of them. And guys, they had so much ribbon. Like this whole bottom two shelves down the whole aisle was ribbon. So don't go buying your ribbon at Hobby Lobby. Um, but these pillows here, again, so gorgeous, so high quality. And they are selling something very similar at Hobby Lobby for like $8. So don't waste your money. Go to the Dollar Tree first. Moving on to garden signs, I was really impressed with the quality of these metal ones this year. I'm one that typically doesn't like buying them at the Dollar Tree because they don't hold up throughout the season with the weather and the elements, but these metal ones will. They had some corn, some sunflowers. I was really impressed with those. Um, loved this family, friends, and football sign. That is totally us. Come fall, go Steelers. And then tons, tons more signs. So many gorgeous signs and, and things this year, guys. They had a lot of, again, the blacks and the, the blues and the sunflowers and stuff that seems to be a theme this year. I love all of them. If I had a million places to put them, I would buy them all. Um, and they also seem to have put out some more floral stuff as well. Um, and I'm all about that. You guys know that I've already bought a bunch of the floral stuff for making my wreath this year. That Hoppy Harvest, it was my favorite sign, I think, that I saw today. And then I'm not a huge Halloween fan. I actually don't like it at all, but I wanted to show you guys what they had to offer. They have some really pretty ornaments, um, different crafts you can do, spiders, garlands, stuff like that. So if you're a Halloween fan, I would highly recommend coming and checking your Dollar Tree out. They even had this like eek and boo sign that you could paint. I'm just not a Halloween fan, so we don't decorate for Halloween. We're definitely fall decorators, but um, they do have a lot of options and I wanted to share that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do now the haul of stuff that I got. I have three huge bags here and it's pretty much all 
fall stuff. I really scored and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. So I'm just going to start pulling stuff out of bags. This first thing is just some floral foam blocks um, because I'm going to be making like a floral pot arrangement to put on the front porch. So I bought this pot to make it in. I felt like it's really rustic fallish looking. And then I'm going to put these down in here with fake flowers that I'll show you guys in a minute and a little sign that I found. I'm trying to um, redo my front porch decor this year. So got those for that. I'm also making a wreath that I've been showing you guys some stuff that I've sort of been collecting over the past couple of months. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to do a fall decor tour um, because it's going to be different this year and I'm so excited about it. I saw these little pumpkin clips. So these actually have, let me see if I can get one off. These actually have an alligator clip on the back, which I think is super helpful. Um, so you can place them like in floral arrangements or in wreaths or whatever you are using, or even just clip them like, you know, if you have like um, garland or whatever, you could clip them on that. So yeah, I just bought one pack of these. They did have them in white as well. And I honestly can't remember if I picked up the white ones or not. So I guess we will find out. <laughs> They have a lot of really gorgeous signs this year. This one says happy harvest thankful and they're much higher quality this year. It's like they get a little bit higher quality every year. Last year they were more of like a bendable cardboard, but you cannot bend this one. So, and then the leaf there, if you can see that is actually, um, metal. So I got this one. It says happy harvest thankful. I'm going for like the, um, black checkered like if you guys saw my Hobby Lobby haul I got a lot of buffalo check items so I'm going for that look and then this one I picked up just because it's cute I don't really know if I will use it um specifically for anything or what but this one is a truck and it says fall harvest and then its leaf is metal as well so I feel like they're really stepping up the quality on these items it's like every year they get better and better so because I'm doing the Buffalo check theme, you know that I needed this. So it's this little like window box or shadow box, um, frame and it says happy welcome fall on it. And then, um, the back is the Buffalo check really like that one, but they did have several different types of those. I picked up these clips. They were with the Halloween stuff and I picked these up because I'm going to be putting one of these signs. I haven't exactly decided which one yet, but one of them on my front porch, like off to the side from the door. Um, so I bought these clips. Hopefully they work for that. And then to go in my wreath that I'm going to be making, I bought these berry picks. So there's 36 pieces in there. This was in the crafter square. So I grabbed these orangish reddish orangish ones. And then I also picked up some of these led lights. So these ones are leaves. They also had, um, some other like, uh, acorns or something like that. So these ones are leaves and you would put two double a batteries in there. I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for yet. Um, but I'm sure I'll find something to use them for. I may even let Kylie hang them up like in her room or something like that. So we'll just see where those end up. And then moving on to the next bag, I was really excited about this that I found. I found this Buffalo checked pillow. Now I almost bought one of these at Hobby Lobby and ended up putting it back because it was like $9.99 or something like that. And then 40% off, but still it would have been like six something. And I just couldn't see paying that for this little like pillow. So I'm pretty excited that I found one at the Dollar Tree that I like just as much. This one says give thanks. And then it has a Buffalo check in the background. They did have several other, um, pillow options, which I think I showed you guys in the footage. And then to go along with the red berry picks, I also picked up the brown ones and these are both going to be used in the fall wreath that I'm making for our front door. And then these are the flowers that I picked up to go in that pot. So I'm not sure if I will use all of these in that pot or just some of them. And then some of the other ones that I've already bought in the pot, like, I don't know, it's, it's going to be like, you know, whatever happens when I, 
get to that point and start being creative in that way. But I picked up basically today the ones that I didn't already have. So I found these orangish brown ones. These are hydrangeas. And then I also found these couple, I think three, no, two of these wheat bales. You can see there, which I really like. I think that's gonna, those will definitely, I think, be used in that pot, like with some type of other flowers. And then I got a few other colors of the hydrangeas. So I got two of the green. I actually wanted all green. Like I was gonna do the whole floral arrangement, just like a big pot of these green ones, but there was only two left. And I think some other woman had that same idea because she had like 50 of them, like a huge bunch of them. And I think that's exactly what she was gonna do with them because she also had one of these metal pots. So anyway, and then I also got some of these bluish purple, blue, purple, blue hydrangeas as well. And then we have another bag here too. So this I was really excited about to find at the Dollar Tree. So this is a like garden stake, but it's metal. Like the whole thing is metal. And I really like that because Typically the Dollar Tree um, like garden stakes that they have are that like cardboard, not quite particle board material, you know what I mean? And the elements typically mess them up and by mid fall they're either faded or like soggy because they got wet. So I was pretty excited to find this one. This one says happy harvest and I'm actually thinking of putting this like in here once I have the floral arrangement in there. Not sure 100%, but I, that's what my thinking is. That's what I bought it with the intention of, but the metal pole might be a little bit too long. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. And then we have a few more things here. So Kylie wanted to do a craft. Of course, if you guys have been around a while, you know that she's a crafter. So she picked up this owl, um, just like a wooden owl to paint. Um, so that should be So yeah, they had several different options of things that she could paint, but she wanted to paint the owl. So I'm sure that she will have a lot of fun painting that. And then these two signs, I think I showed you guys right when I walked in. I am thinking that these are what I'm gonna use with that hook on the side of my door. One of these, I'm not sure which one. So the first one that I got is this Welcome to Our Home. And it's sort of got that you know, black and white Buffalo check theme to it. So I really like this one. And then I also picked up this one that says happy fall from fresh pumpkins, thankful and blessed. So I'm not sure which one I can't decide which one I'll go with. I'm sure wherever one doesn't go like somewhere else, you know, the other one will go somewhere else, but I grabbed both of those. Oh, so I did grab the white pumpkins. I couldn't remember if I did or not. So these are the same as the orange ones with alligator clips, except they are white. So I don't know. I think I bought these ones thinking that I would use them on the wreath as well, but I have pumpkins already. I don't know. They'll get used for something, I'm sure. Um, wait until you guys see my fall decor video and all the fall decor that I have because it's a lot. Anyway, um, and then I bought some of this berry garland. I'm thinking to put um, candles in the center or something in the center on um, the tray in our living room. So I bought two of the green and white ones. They also had one that had hints of red in it and then one that had hints of brown or brownish colors. And then these last two things that I picked up aren't fall, but Kylie again, was into wanting to paint things. So she grabbed this little birdhouse to paint and then she wanted these nails. So they are llamas, <laughs> rainbow llamas. So that should be interesting. She loves to do stuff like this. So we'll do that later together. But that is everything that I picked up today at the Dollar Tree. I'm so excited to decorate for fall. I can't wait to show you guys what I come up with. I think I mentioned in one of my last videos that we're also working on like painting in here and all kinds of things because none of our house is painted except the master bathroom and the powder bath and that's it. Like the rest of it is just this color which is like a very, very, very light gray. Um, and yeah, I want to start like adding our personality a little bit more to this house. So I'm hoping to get it painted before fall so that like my whole vision will come together. 
which means I gotta get moving. But anyways, <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you next week. Monday we'll have a grocery haul and then on Tuesday I'm hoping to have that fall decor video out. I still have the pantry video to finish editing. It's just been a week with Chris home, but I promise I'll get caught back up. Um, so until Monday guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and a great, hope your weather is great for your weekend and that you get to spend some time with your family. Bye guys. <laughs>